How you doing, chaps? Been a few posts on the forum about uh, using manual pick guns, and um, I know a few of you know that my favourite method of tensioning with a pick gun is always going to be circular tension wrench. Um, very, very light pressure. It's sprung loaded. Um, also got it on a piece of string because there's very, very little um, tension that is very, very likely to drop. Um, so what I tend to do is put the gun in, tend to work it round like that, clicking all the time, and then dip down with the, the tip and uh, sort of do that as well, and up and down, all sorts of things really. I know you're supposed to just go in straight and um, keep it more or less like that, but I tend to do the other method and find that that works quite well. So, got a no-name cylinder here, we'll just give that a try. That's gone all the time, just bouncing the tension backwards and forwards, pretty much as if you're tuning in an old radio. Um, that's what I always try and remember. Do it like that. Got a Mark One here, whatever that is. Not one that I'm familiar with. So again, put the gun in so it's nice and loose not touching anything and just bouncing on and off and there, that one's open. Really it's just a question of technique and um, a lot of practice. Got a WMS here. These are quite a good lock. Um, So again, making sure that that's nice and loose in there, plenty of movement. All the time, bouncing on and off, on and off with the tension. It's actually started in the middle on the tension itself on the pit gun there, so uh, it's going to confuse me a bit. There, that's gone. So initially there was just a little bit too much tension on the gun. If you find you're not getting anywhere with it, then just adjust the tension on the pit gun itself. Just give it a little bit either way and uh, take it from there. Just gradually keep increasing it. Another WMS here. You'll gradually get to know which locks actually require a bit more tension on the, um, the pick gun itself. I find the ears, um, strangely, need quite a lot of uh, tension on the pick gun. Not on the wrench, but actually adjusting on the pick gun. But like I say, they all vary. There, yeah, and that one's gone. So it really is really just a question of practicing and getting used to these circular tension wrenches. They're very useful as well when there's not a lot of room where you can't get a normal wrench in. And that one's gone as well. we've got here an ERA. I say sometimes these ones need quite a lot of pressure actually on the gun itself. But we'll start fairly low on it and gradually work the way up. Just thought that had gone but that slipped out. You tend to cut one of the uh, the two legs down on the circular tension wrench so that it doesn't actually touch the pins otherwise when you buy it um, with both legs exactly the same length it'll actually start touching the pins and uh, prevent them from moving all the 
time just feathering it on and off as if it was a normal wrench really they won't all go right away um, on the lower setting on the gun either, sometimes that'll take a little bit more work. Oops, that's slipped out again. Just gradually turning it up a little bit at a time. Notice as well how I'm moving the gun there side to side. The good thing about the manual pick guns as well is that they're never going to run out. Not like an electric pick gun. that one to one side. And we'll try another no-name one here. Quite an interesting key on that one. So we'll start low tension and pick one. Wind it all the way down. Just gradually increasing it. And that one's gone. Took a little bit longer than anticipated there. Um, what have we got here? Another Mark II. Don't know a lot about these locks at all, but we come across them from time to time. And that one's gone. Just a very, very light turning movement, barely holding the wrench at all. Just so easy to drop it though. Um, I'm going to try the upward firing gun now. This is Yale. Upward firing exactly the same, just you need to turn the tension wrench around the other way. So you've got the short leg at the top, so it's not actually striking the pins, or touching the pins, I should say. So you never find the upward striking gun quite as easy, to be honest. A union here, um, another rim cylinder. It always helps to give it a squirt of GT85 beforehand, really, as well. Um, some of these I've done, and, and some I haven't. Uh, from Doing shot there. I think the camera's moved. Excuse the awful quality as well, by the way. It's just my phone, and that's the union. Just, just on like that. Um, so the only ones I'm not going to mess about with. 
because we're going to run out of time, I think. Is, uh, strangely, whoops, strangely this ERA, and I think that's the only one that I haven't got there out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not sure, nine, something like that. Anyway, just keep practicing with it, and uh, like I say, thanks for watching.